Thank you, Presiding Officer. To fund the teachers' pay deal last year, this government cut £155 million from elsewhere within the education budget. Does the Minister anticipate further cuts in the education budget when the government inevitably intervenes to resolve this dispute? Minister. I think um, it's, it's important to emphasise just how hard COSLA and Scottish Government officials worked to make sure that we could identify the £80 million that I think, in, in fair respect, everyone thought was the ask of all three unions to, to settle this deal in a way that did not impact on frontline services. That was not easy to do. It took a huge amount of work. Um, and so it, it feels like we've pushed that envelope to the end. And that's why I think COSLA in particular will be keen to, you know, if, to, to talk about the, the roadmap to £15 an hour because there's not potentially a, a cost in this year. This year is particularly difficult. We can't change the, the income for this year. So I think that's why that is a, a really important you know, the suggestion that that's really where Unison are going then. Then I hope they articulate that clearly so we can have that discussion and COSLA can have that discussion with Unison. I know COSLA are working really hard to speak to, to, to Unison to discuss what the asks are because no one wants this dispute to go on any longer than it has to. Thank you. That concludes topical questions. The next item of business 